Good morning to all. A uh, very special greeting from Bogota, Colombia. Uh, my name is Sama, and I feel very happy, very excited uh, to participate in this uh, yoga festival online. And I like to give thanks to Hobby Sharer, who is the founder of Yuka This Yoga, uh, for inviting me to this wonderful initiative. And also, I like to thank uh, Christine and Shan for all their support with these technological issues for our class today. So to tell you a little bit about me, my home country is Colombia, I live in Bogota with my husband, my two children, and I've been uh, practicing yoga for about 20 years. Um, five years ago, I became a teacher uh, when I was living in Santa Barbara, California, and then there I was trained in integral yoga and also in accessible yoga. And I think focused my teaching practice on people uh, with all conditions, mental and physical conditions. And my passion especially is to share yoga with communities that usually don't have access to the practice. So I uh, teach yoga in prison. So I started in Santa Barbara. My first experience in a prison was in Santa Barbara. And then uh, upon my return to Bogota, I've been teaching in two prisons, one for men and one for women. And I also uh, teach yoga to cancer patients and their caregivers in a palliative care center uh, here in, in Bogota. And uh, the other thing is that I been participated from the Accessible Yoga Program, uh, which is like a, a international program in Accessible Yoga, uh, since 2015. And I'm uh, working acting as a regional representative for the Spanish group of Accessible, Accessible Yoga. And more recently, I became a yoga trainer uh, with the idea to support other yoga teachers to gain and to have the tools to offer a practice accessible to people in all conditions. Um, so today we are going to do some, we are going to start with the share, then we'll do some standing poses and we'll end with a deep relaxation. So besides having your share, hopefully you don't have like a, with arms, like a very simple chair. Beside your chair, your mat, at this moment I have it folded for my feet. You may want to have a uh, blanket, one like blanket and the other one, or uh, at the end, for the, for the practice at the end of the relaxation. And my main suggestion for you today will be to listen to your body. Pay close attention to what your body is telling you. Uh, remember that you shouldn't feel any strain or pain during uh, any posture. So just listen, connect with your body, and connect with your inner wisdom to make your practice uh, a way to activate your body, but at the same uh, time without any pain, discomfort, or strain. So let's start to uh, check the posture. Sit tall in your chair. If it's comfortable for you, uh, you can sit away from the chair, in the back of the chair. Have your feet hip width apart, uh, your knees over your heels, your sitting bones grounded, your spine tall, and your palms could be resting on your lap, facing up or facing down, as you feel them comfortable. And now, Close your eyes, or if you prefer, you can have a soft gaze uh, to the floor. And start to bring your awareness within. Gentle and slowly let your mind settle down. And let your mind start to connect with your body. Take a moment to 
Observe your entire posture, your entire body in the posture. And now notice how the sole of your feet are making contact with the air. You feel your sitting bones well rounded into the base of the chair. Your spine is tall. Shoulders away from the ears, back and down, chest open. And your shin parallel to the floor. And as you inhale, lengthen the spine. And as you exhale, let the weight of your body sink into your hips. Inhale again, lengthen. And as you exhale, let your body become more and more steady. Release the skin of your face, the tip of your nose. Let go in your tongue, your throat, your inner ears. And let your fingers and your toes be completely relaxed. And now pay attention to your breath. Noticing how it is flowing in and out. And how it is flowing continuously in and out from the nose. Conscious breathing is the essence of yoga. So my invitation for today is to remain fully present with your breath. Anytime you notice your mind wandering, just gentle, bring it back to the breath. Using the breath as a tool to help your mind to stay fully focused, fully present throughout the entire class. Now we'll begin chanting three ohms together. Om is the universal sound that connects everything. So please inhale for Om. And now we will start to make circles with the shoulders. So release your arms to the sides. Inhale, shoulders up towards the ears. And as you exhale, bring them back and up. Inhale to the nose. And exhaling also through the nose. Releasing all the tension, the worries with each exhalation. Stay very present with the movements. Last time, come back to center and now reverse the direction. Inhale, shoulders up and exhale forward and down. Releasing all the tension in the back of the neck. Last time, come back to center. And now we we'll do half circles with the neck, activating the neck. Inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, bring your chin forward towards the chest bone. 
In your next inhalation, lift your ears towards one shoulder. And as you exhale, bring your shin back to center and then moving your head to the other side. Exhale to the center, inhale to one side. And continue at your own pace. Be fully present with the movements. Make sure that the skin of your face is relaxed. The shin, your throat are completely released. Last time, come back with your shin to the chest and take a moment to focus on the back of your neck. Invite a sense of release in that part of the body that usually is very stressed. In your next inhalation, come back to center, your head raised, chin parallel to the floor. If you wish, you can keep your eyes closed to bring your awareness within and stay fully present with the sensations that might arise. And now we'll do some spinal flexions. So refresh your posture, make sure that your grounding is in on the chair, feet are well grounded. Inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, round your back to the wall that is behind you, chin to the chest. Inhale, arch your spine, open your chest, and look slightly up. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch, and expand your chest. Your, chest, your throat is also open. And continue at your own pace and stay fully present with the undulation of your entire spine. With these movements, you are stimulating your central nervous system, which is right in the spinal column. Also, giving flexibility to the spine and increasing your energy. Exhale as you round, inhale as you expand. One more time, inhale, expand your chest, shoulders away from the ears. Looking slightly up, breathe normally, focus on your heart, and as you exhale, round your back, chin to the chest. And come back to center in Tadasana, mountain pose. If you wish, close your eyes and pay fully attention to the sensations after those movements. And now we'll do some circles with the torso, the Sufi circles. So again, refresh the posture. You can have perhaps the feet a little bit wider apart. Inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, round your back and start your circle from the right. Inhaling forward and exhaling back. And make sure that your back is flat, your head center. Inhaling forward and exhaling back. Perhaps your awareness is on the internal organs of the abdomen. You're doing a gentle massage in that part of the body. Last time, on this side, come back to center, pause, and now reverse the direction. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, round your back and start your circle from the left. Inhaling forward and exhaling back. The breath is the vehicle that connects the mind and the body. So perhaps you may want to take this moment, this opportunity to stay fully present with your movements, to really inhabit your body. We are most of the times on our heads, on our minds, so 
connect here with your body. Last time, come back to center and stay fully present after this circular movement. And now let's do some circling with the wrists. Perhaps feel your A with your hands on the air, fully present with the hands. Now neck fist and expand the fingers, the palms. Exhale, inhale, expand. You have good activation with your hands. Inhale, exhale, inhale, stay there, breathe normally, extend your arms, finger well expanded, a little bit more, more, and exhale and shake a little bit, releasing all the tensions there. Good. Now let's bring our awareness to the feet. So let's do a little bit of um, circling ankles in one direction, the other. We start to wake up our feet, then perhaps pointing and flexing. You can take hold of your chair, doing both at the same time or one by one. Inhale, exhale, and look at your feet. Pay fully attention to this part of the body related with the groundedness, stability. We pay a uh, very few attention to our feet. So now stay present with them. Good. Now we'll do some uh, leg raising. So take hold of your chair, refresh your posture, you are away from the back of the chair. Inhale as you raise one leg up and exhale as you lower. Inhale the other leg up and exhale as you lower. And continue at your own pace. And here, listen to your body and find the right motion, range of motion for you today. Perhaps you may want to raise high with your leg, or perhaps you may want to have it like very close to the floor. In any case, always as you inhale, bless your foot, Toes pointing into your face and don't forget to have your spine very tall. Last mm -hmm. time, inhale, raise your leg, flex the foot, open the chest, the spine tall, breathe normally, a little bit more, and exhale lower. And then your leg, inhale. Raise the leg, pay attention to the quadriceps here you are. This is very good for strengthening the muscles that protect the knee. A little bit more, don't collapse your spine. And as you exhale, lower it down, shake a little bit. Good. And now we'll do a back bend, we'll do the cobra pose. So refresh your posture, be very present. Uh, feet well rounded and interlock your fingers behind your lower back, bringing the elbows like together behind you. Look how perhaps you're already feeling the chest expand. Inhale, lift your heart around the upper back, looking slightly up, and as you exhale, bring your hands toward the floor and stay here for a moment. Focus on your upper spine. Cobra is wonderful to improve your posture. Breathe a little bit, stay in the posture. You are stimulating the sympathetic nervous system, which helps to bring you more energy. In your next exhalation, slowly release your hands and come back to center, close your eyes and stay fully present with any sensations after this back bending pose. And now we'll do a twist. So 
having your feet well grounded again, very present, your sitting bones present. Inhale, and as you exhale, twist to your right with your spine very long. Left hand to your right knee, and you can perhaps bring your head looking through the wall that is behind you, shoulders level. Breathe, and your awareness is in on your entire spine. In your next exhalation, slowly coming back to center, your head lasts and pause for a moment. Let's do the other side. Inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, twist to your left. Your feet are grounded, sitting bones grounded, and at the same time, feel your spine reaching the sky, very long. Stay fully present with the twist of your entire spine. In your next exhalation, slowly come back to center and pause again for a moment. The passes between each posture are very important because they are the opportunity to connect again with your body and to let your body absorb and integrate the benefits of the previous pose. Now we do the chair pose. So perhaps you may want to have your feet a little bit wider apart, those pointing slightly uh, out. Ground your sitting bones again, uh, arms alongside your body. Inhale as you raise your arms overhead and hinge forward from the hips. Your back is flat in the back of your neck is aligned with the rest of your spine. And stay here for a moment. The lower part of your body is completely still. Breathe. A little bit more, feel the extension of your spine. And as you exhale, slowly release the pose and come back to center. This is a great posture to improve the strength in your, um, in your spine. So uh, for the next time, I will invite you to connect with the two opposing actions in your body. While the lower body will be very grounded, sitting bones and feet, you will invite your spinal column and your back to reach the sky. Arms alongside your body. Inhale, and as you exhale, arms overhead, palms facing each other, hinge forward from the hips. And connect with these two opposing actions. Ground the sole of your feet, ground your sitting bones, and your fingers are extended towards the sky. This is a very active pose. A little bit more. And in your next exhalation, slowly release shoulders up, back and down, shake a little bit your body, and come back to stillness for a moment, absorbing the benefits of the chair pose. And now our last posture on the chair will be a forward fold. So you are in the same basic position. Inhale, raise your arms overhead, hinge forward from the hips, and then when your spine gets rounded, just release your arms, rest them on your lap, and here let your head lower towards the earth. The back of the neck is completely relaxed. And if you are enough comfortable in this moment, perhaps you may want to let your arms hang, perhaps palms on the floor, but make sure that your buttocks are making full contact with the base of the chair. So choose the right position for you to stay for a few moments more here. Release the skin of your face. 
releasing your tongue, your shin. You are staying in the posture. With this forward fold, you are stimulating your parasympathetic nervous system, which helps to bring your awareness within and promotes a peaceful sensation inside. This is a great posture to give a little bit of calm to the mind. Stay there, fully present. And in your next exhalation, as the slowest movement of the class, start to raise up, wherever and wherever, your head last, and come to Tadasana, the mountain pose. Close your eyes and let your body integrate the efforts of the previous pose. And perhaps here you might want to connect with the energetic qualities of the mountain. Feeling a steady, a stable, rooted. And at the same time, your spine reaching the sky. All right. So now let's uh, come to standing. And so the idea is that you are going to have, you are going to stand behind your chair. So your mat, if you wish, you can just extend it. It would be better for you uh, to have it extended behind your chair. And the idea with the chair is that you are going to use it for support in case you need it with balance or something. In the case that you think that you're gonna need it, it's okay. You can just step a little bit far away from your chair. And me, I'm gonna place this a little bit. So, and I think for you to better see me mejor, better I'm, I'm going to to put my chair here, but you can have your chair in front of you wish. So let's have the feet keep width apart, toes pointing forward, arms alongside your body. Inhale, and as you exhale, bring your arms overhead, palms facing each shoulder slightly, look up. And stay here for a moment, Elongating your spine as much as possible and grounding your feet at the same time. In your next exhalation, slowly lower down. We'll do it again and invite the two opposing actions in your body. Inhale, bring your arms overhead, ground the soles of your feet and your spine reaching the sky. This is a very active posture. A little bit more, breathe. And as you exhale, lower your arms down, shake your body a little bit. And now we do the palm tree. So for the palm tree, perhaps you may want to uh, have uh, your chair close. For balance, we are going to raise the arms and the heels at the same time. So perhaps it's useful to gaze to a single point in front of you to help with your balance. Uh, so standing Tadasana, feet keep width apart, arms alongside your body. Inhale as you raise your heels, arm up. And as you exhale, lower the heels, lower your arms. Inhale, arms up, feet up. And your next exhalation, lower down. And continue at your own pace. Perhaps you may want to raise one arm at a time. If you feel that you need a little bit of support with your balance. Continue, inhale, raise, rooting the toes, balancing your body on the toes. Exhale, lower down. Last time, we're going to stay for a moment there. 
Inhale, raise your arms, balancing on your toes. Breathe. Your spine is very, very long. Next, very activated. A little bit more, a little bit more. And exhale, lower down. We'll shake the body. Shaking the body will send a message to the nervous system to release. Inhale, shoulders up, exhale through the mouth. With a big hug, it helps to release any worries too. Inhale, exhale, shake your body. Feet keep width apart, spine tall. Inhale to the left, exhale to the right. Inhale left, exhale right. And now you can put your chair on the side. Very nice change the position of their mat to be more comfortable. And let's step your feet wide apart. You are going to uh, turn your toes out at 45 degrees, your legs well extended. And now we'll do the goddess pose. Inhale, lengthen your spine, and as you exhale, bend your knees over the and this is start by doing this movement like in a dynamic way. So you will be bending your knees, making sure that you are pressing your hips forward and your knees back. And find your sweet spot here, where you're feeling a good activation without the strength. So listen to your body. Perhaps you may want to lower a little a little bit more or not, just very gentle. For the next time, we're going to be still in the posture. Inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, come to your sweet point here. Your spine is long, stay still, palms together in front of the chest. If you are good with your balance, perhaps you may want to close your eyes and stay fully present with the posture. Your hips are open, your chest is open, and you're turning the lower body. A few moments more. And in your next exhalation, straight your legs, palms close to the chest. Inhale again, and as you exhale, Extend your arms out to the sides at shoulder level, palms facing down. And breathe even. And feel how with each exhalation, inviting like, your body to expand in all directions. Perhaps you may want to connect with the five points of your star your head, two arms, and two legs. This posture gives you poise, a strength, and equanimity. In your next exhalation, slowly release your arms, and step your feet back together, stand in Tadasana for a moment to integrate the benefits of this standing poses that give you groundedness and strength. All right, so now we'll do the down facing dog using the chair. So again, please, on let, I'm going to stay here and I will put, you will put your chair in one edge of the mat. Have the back of the chair near you. Step your feet together. Now step back and you're going to have your feet parallel to the sides of the mat. Not really see. So you can see me better. You can have them 
keep moving apart, but perhaps to the sides of the mat. Take hold of your chair, step a little bit back. Inhale, lengthen, and as you exhale, start to hinge forward from the hips. You can keep your knees bended or straight, a little bit bended, right? Or straight. Your back is flat and try to have the back of your neck aligned with the rest of your spine. And if you wish, push into your chair, bringing your buttocks away from your head. And stay here, breathe in a way that gives comfort to the pose. And notice how the entire back part of your body is getting expanded. You are activating the hamstrings, the entire back, a little bit more. Breathe. And in your next exhalation, slightly bend your knees, lift your heart, and come back to center. In Tadasana, close your eyes for a moment. And connect again with any sensations in your body after this posture. And now we'll do the warrior pose. So I'm going to stay here so you can perhaps see me better. So step your feet together, you are close to your chair. Inhale as you bring your left foot back. Both legs straight, so like a big step. Punch in your waist, keep spacing forward. Inhale, and as you exhale, bend the front knee and raise your arms overhead. To be also cactus arms, if you wish. And be aware that your knee doesn't pass the big toe. Your spine is very long. Lift your heart and stay here for a moment, very present, with your water pose. In your next exhalation, slowly lower the arms and stay back with your feet together. Tadasana. Let's do it on the other side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring your right foot back, legs straight, big step, palms on the waist, elbows moving behind you, like closing together, your chest open, keep spacing forward. Inhale, and as you exhale, bend the front knee, raise your arms overhead, and lift your heart. Perhaps connecting with the energetic qualities of the peaceful world. A strength, balance, focus, and concentration. A stay present. The mind takes the form of this posture, empowering you. In your next exhalation, slowly release your arms, a step back. Feet together and stand in Tadasana. Close your eyes and bring your awareness to your heart. Notice how you're feeling this part of the body. Perhaps any movement of energy in your palms, your face. Be aware of any sensations here. I am here and now. I am here and now. And now we'll do the breath of joy. I love these movements, this type of breath, because it helps to connect with the energetic qualities of your heart. We're going to be expanding the uh, front of the head of the heart and also expanding the back of the heart. So let's stand in Tadasana 
make sure that your feet are hip with a bar toes pointing forward. Arms alongside your body. Bring them next to your chest. Inhale as you open your arms out to the sides, arching the upper back, slightly looking up. And in your next exhalation, bring the finger tips back, chin to the chest, arching the upper back, arching the round. Inhale, open, and exhale, round the back, chin to the chest. And continue at your own pace. Have your arms well defended. This is a very active pose. The soles of your feet are well grounded, your spine is very tall. Inhale as you expand, open your chest, and exhale as you round and expand the back of your heart. Connecting with the qualities of your heart, compassion, love, Kindness. Last time, inhale, open your arms, fully present with the center of your heart. And in your next exhalation, round and give yourself a lovely time. Inviting an appreciation for your body, for your mind with a sense of gratitude for all the good things that you already have in your life. The appreciation and the gratitude are the source of all abundance. All right? Release the posture, shake a little bit, and we'll end with our deep relaxation. So, you may want to have a blanket to support your head or a cushion burden like that, not very high, on one edge of the mat. Perhaps you may want to have, instead of being here, perhaps you may want to have the, a roll blanket behind your knees in the case that you feel a little bit of a strain or you have sensitivity in the lower back. And also, you may want to cover yourself for the relaxation. So please lay down. Make sure that your legs are extended, feet hip width apart, toes pointing out. Your arms alongside your body, palms facing up. Your shin towards the chest, to extend the back part of your body, of your neck, and your eyes are closed. And you are going to be relaxing your entire body, keeping your mind completely present and alert during the entire practice using the power of your mind to release completely. Pay, at pay attention to the back part of your body. Notice how it is making contact with the air. Now, pay attention to the front part of your body. Noticing how it is facing the sky and how it is well supported by your back body and your back body well supported by the air. And now trying to keep your body still, you are going to send a message to each part of the body to release completely. Bring your awareness to your toes, the sole of your feet, your ankle, and let them go. Let go in your lower legs, 
the back of the knees, your upper legs. Let them be completely relaxed. Now pay attention to your buttocks, your pelvis, and let them go. Focus on your abdomen, the internal organs of the abdomen, and let them be completely relaxed. Your attention is now on your chest. Expand your chest. Releasing the ribcage, let go in your heart and lungs. And now your awareness is on your back. And very mindfully send a message to the lower back, middle back, and upper back to release completely on the earth. Your awareness is now on the fingers, palms, wrists, let them go. Let go in your lower arms, your elbows, and your upper arms. The back of the shoulders is relaxed. The back of the, your neck is completely relaxed. And now, move your awareness to your throat. Invite the inner walls of your throat to be completely expanded. Releasing your shin, mouth, tongue, and your teeth. Let them go completely. Releasing the lips, your cheeks, the skin of your face. Let go of your nose, eyes, and forehead. Release your ears, inner ears, the sides of the skull, the back of the skull and the crown of your head. And take a moment here to observe your entire body and how your body perhaps is more relaxed lying down on your mat. And now pay attention to your breath. Notice how it is flowing in and out of your nose. Perhaps realizing how it is getting more and more subtle as your body is getting more and more relaxed. Observing your breath, you are acting as a witness of your own breath. And now pay attention to your mind. If you notice any thoughts, just let them pass like clouds crossing the sky. Observing them without getting involved. Acting as a silent witness to your mind. And now in this moment, if perhaps you're feeling a peaceful sensation. Mm -hmm. this, this is your true self. Your true self is this. This peace in your heart is always 
available to you. No matter the external conditions. You just have to take a time to connect with you. Stay fully present with your inner life within and rest in your stillness. Start to bring your awareness back to your breath and wiggling your fingers, your toes, and start to connect back with your physical body. Making circles with your wrists, your ankles, extending perhaps your legs, your arms overhead, moving slowly your head side to side, or any other movement that makes you feel fully present and connected with your body. When you feel ready, slowly roll to one side, keep your eyes closed, rest for a moment here, trying to keep your awareness within. And now at your own pace, slowly start to come up, helping with your hands, your back is rounded, your head last. and sit in your mat with broad legs. Close your eyes and check the quality of your posture. Let the lower part of the body be very rounded, your spine very tall, and the most important, make sure that your posture is completely comfortable. And take a moment here to notice the quality of your body and your mind at this moment. Perhaps you may notice any difference from the starting of the class. It could be the case or not. It doesn't matter. The important thing is that you are cultivating your capacity to be aware of yourself, to notice. To close our class, I invite you to put your palms together in front of the chest, or if you prefer, you can rest them on your lap. Lowering your head towards your heart. Honoring your existence and being present with the life that is within you and within others. Sending the benefits of your practice to all the people around you. May the entire universe be filled with peace and joy, love, and life. If you wish, you can repeat after me. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti is a Sanskrit word that means peace and brings 
the vibration of peace. Om Shanti. Thank you very much for being here, for sharing your practice with me today. Thank you so much. Have a great day and enjoy the rest of the festival. Two more days. Many wonderful classes and teachers. Thank you, Holly.